Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to see if it's possible to take some Warhammer 40k sprues and melt them in this high temperature silicone. In a previous video you may have seen me take this silicone baking mould and make these base plates by melting cut up sprues in the oven. So I'm going to try it out again, but this time I'm going to take the sprues and use them in this high temperature silicone mould that I've made. So for this test I'm going to make an Among Us figure out of plasticine and then make a mould of that. So it's quite a simple figure to make and I'm going to make mine relatively small just so I don't have to use up too much of the high temperature silicone as it's quite expensive. And this is after all just a test. So I've played the Among Us game with my kids a couple of times and to be honest I'm not too sure what all the hype's about. But I guess the figures are quite cute. So I really enjoy working with plasticine, as obviously it's easy to cut and form and shape into whatever you need really. And there we go, one little Among Us figure ready to make a mould of. So as usual, to make the mould I'm using good old Lego, as this makes it so easy to build whatever shape and size I need, as well as when I'm done, it's so easy to pull apart. So once I've got the size I need, I can then cut this foam to use as the base, just so it's a nice flat bottom to it. And then I can carry on building up the sides, making sure it's at least 5mm above the top of my piece. So I'm using this high temperature silicone, which can be used in the oven. Again, it's a two part mix on a ratio of 10 to 1. So ideally you really want to use scales to measure this out. So I'm guesstimating how much I need to use. If I have too little I can make up a little bit more, but generally I seem to get these quite well. And if you saw my last video, you'd see the mess I made trying to pour this into the mixture. So this time I'm using a syringe, which is making it a lot easier and certainly a lot messier. And it's a case of giving it a good old stir, mixing it thoroughly in until the consistency is nice and even. And then pouring the mixture in from a nice height gets a nice thin stream, as this helps reduce any bubbles getting trapped. And then you just keep filling right up to the top. So it says this silicone has a demold time of 25 minutes, which seems crazily quick. So I'm going to leave it for a good hour just to be on the safe side. So it's definitely a fast curing time, as the ones I normally use generally take about 8 hours. And then again, the Lego is so easy to pull apart, which is why I love using it to make moulds. But I guess the question is, am I going to be able to take the piece out, as it's quite a small opening, and obviously the piece gets larger as it goes down? And I think the answer to that question is, no, I'm not going to be able to get the piece out. So what I'm going to need to do is cut some slits either side, and hopefully this will enable me to open it up and get the plasticine out. So these moulds don't seem as flexible as they normally are, so it seems to be splitting rather than sort of flexing. So it looks like I'm going to have to cut the mould completely in half to be able to get this piece out. So to get the rest of the plasticine out, I'm going to use my little tool to scrape it out. And then the inside of the mould is going to need a good old clean before I can continue. So as this mould is now in two pieces, I'm going to need something to wrap around it just so it doesn't come apart. Normally I'd use a rubber band here, but obviously I can't use that in the oven. So in this case I'm going to use this wire and just wrap it around. So I've got my box of all nibbly knobbly bits as well as all the shavings. 
So I'm just going to cut up a few more. So the sprues I like to cut up for this are all the ones that are a bit irregular. Obviously any straight edge sprues I like to keep. But any of these sort of really weird tree looking ones, these are pretty good just to cut up. So it's basically just the case of putting all these nibbly knobbly bits into the mould. And we'll try and pile them up high so when they do start melting, there'll be plenty there and hopefully it'll sort of spread out into all the gaps. So it's going in the oven on say a relatively low temperature of about 100, 150 degrees for about 30 minutes or so. So I took it out to let it cool down and now the moment of truth to see if it's actually worked. So one of the big differences with this high temperature silicone as opposed to the ones I normally use, this one's very tough and very rigid and doesn't flex at all. And if anything it seems to sort of break apart rather than bend. So this can only really be used for simple moulds where it's easy to get the piece out. So it looks like this is a bit of a fail. As the problem with melting sprues in the oven, they don't really turn into a liquid. They're still pretty firm even when they start to melt. So they don't really get into all the nooks and crannies, which is why there's all these little gaps left everywhere. So this method isn't really going to work and it's certainly no better than melting the sprues in acetone. But it's worth giving these things a go just to try and test them out. And if it works great and if it doesn't, well then you know not to do it again. So I hope you enjoyed the video guys. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave some comments below on what you liked about this video and what you might want to see me do next. I wanted to say a big thank you to all my patrons for helping to support this channel. That really means a lot as I am now investing quite a lot of money into the channel, buying more bits and pieces and some better streaming gear. And you can become a patron for as little as £1 a month and this gives you access to some behind the scenes photos of what I'm currently working on. If you are new here and you like what I do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to be informed of all the videos that I produce. There is a link to another video on the screen, so give that a click guys and go and see some more of my work. Okay guys, that's it. Bye for now.